Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Enter the Gungeon. I'm Nye. I'm thinking that we're going to be doing a marine run. Let's just go make sure that uh, high speed antics has been turned off. And we'll get going. This is off, right? No, I, yeah. We're, I am fine with being too slow. That is absolutely okay by me. Okay. So we have two achievements we have to get. I want to see something real quick. Is there anything we really haven't seen yet? There's, okay, these two guns we haven't seen yet. I still haven't ever actually gotten the composite gun. We've seen some of these guns so many times, but the composite gun has eluded us. We haven't seen Rubenstein's monster. We haven't seen the turbo gun. We haven't seen the box. Oh, sorry, that's the super meat gun. I mean guns, not uh, not items. I have no idea what that is. That's an unlock. And then we have not seen whatever that is. Whatever that is. The Crisis Stone. Whatever those are. Lots of ammo types. Snow Ballots. Platinum Bolts we haven't seen. No idea what that is. Or that. Or that or that. So it looks like there's a fair amount of surprises still in store. Or that. I know where to get this. I just kind of don't want to get it. And then... Okay, hold on. We have... Interesting. Okay, so take your stuff, but you have to keep pushing through. I'll have to try harder. Rats off to you. Some chests are red, but more of them are blue. No matter what, <laughs> I'm all stealing from you. Thanks for the stuff. But I wouldn't give to see the look on your face. You wish for an item found this note in this place. Thanks for your continued patronage. Should just kill you, but that'd be no fun. So just for a laugh, I've stolen your gun. If you were to find me, I'd make you bow on your knees. You're just a rodent, and I'm the big cheese. Some say I'm a choker, but I'm bottling rage. It's tough getting a mimic to gobble this page. Mimic bars. Hmm. So I guess this explains... Um, interesting. I'm guessing this explains why we have not gotten any more of the infuriating notes. I thought it was a single item that we were just getting repeatedly, but apparently there were six of them total. Um, so that, okay, so that explains it. So we got a bunch of, bunch of items that we still have to find that we haven't found yet. That was the point of that particular interlude. Let's just get an idea. That's a lot of, a lot of bullets. get it done. Do you guys have shower thoughts? And that's, I, I've also heard these, like, referred to as, as fridge thoughts. But it's the, uh, the concept that, you know, you're sitting here and you're in the shower or you, you know, watch a movie and you just opened up the fridge after the movie to get your meal. And then all of a sudden there's this thought that just hits you out of the, you know, bolt from the blue. And it's, it's a thought that y y is, like, deep while shallow at the same time, is what I usually hear. And I say that, and you're sitting there going, okay, so deep, deep and shallow, what the hell? And, and so some of it is the why do we park on driveways and drive on parkways sort of thing. It's the, like, I have never thought about this before, what the hell? But it's, it's kind of a weird thing. And the problem is that you, you gotta... Usually they, they, they slip away. You gotta, like, write them down or something. I know I had one before I went to sleep last night. It was gonna be... You know, the subject of a monologue here. And then it just kind of went away. And it's like, well, okay. You know, I wish I, I, wish I knew what it had been. It could have been useful. What do we got here? We got a, we got a blue chest here. But, uh, yeah, so it was, it was just kind of one of those things. It's like, okay, I wish I'd, uh, hello. You kind of don't have anything I want. I kind of, like, I almost want the bug boots. But not really. It's just an item that kind of exists that I might, you know, potentially be interested in, maybe. Okay, I need to kill this first one. There we go. He's going to give me seven credits. But yeah, it's just kind of one of those things that you're, it's just like, okay, well, this was this was a passing, trifling thought that happened to be in my head. 
But sometimes it's these things that just like, this is a, you know, normal part of everyday life that I never really thought about. And the biggest problem is, I can't even give you an example. Like, of one I've had. Whoa, since when do you show up on floor one? I have never seen this room before. This room is brand new. Hmm. Got a brown chest here. Okay. Well, we're going to be able to open one of our two chests. Uh, I'm really thinking the blue chest, honestly. Problem is, we you know we definitely don't know what is in the chests. We don't know which one's our item. Outside of the screen. The downsides to doing windowed borderless. So I think we're gonna say goodbye to any chance of getting something. Um, sorry about that. I had to get my. I'm clicking outside of the screen. It, it clicked another another window that stepped in front of my recording window, so I couldn't quite see what I was recording. Is it the devolver? God damn it. I really don't like this gun. I'm going to accept it because boss. Okay, I like this setup because this means that Smiley is actually on screen with me for once. Because what they usually do is usually Smiley and... Uh... Okay, see, this is what usually happens. Usually Shade gets a little bit too close. And I've got to reposition to deal with Smiley. I mean, this is what I want. Oh, crap. Okay. So we are out of ammo. On the devolver. I, I mean, I guess it did good work for me. It took out, uh... It took out Smiley, but, you know... I guess that kind of shows just not how not good a... Oh, come on! Of a gun. I waited too long to, to dive roll. Uh, how not good of a gun the, the devolver really is, because it took that long and that much ammo to kill Smiley. Get my, uh... Go get my heart back. So sadly, we will be destroying this chest. It did give me junk. Maybe we'll be seeing Sir Junkin. He's been showing up a lot more often lately. Nothing in there. Is there maybe an item? Item. Is there maybe a secret room in here? Yes. Which is going to give me another chest that I got to break. I keep on I keep on hoping for Sir Junkin, so I keep on looking when the junk drops for the tagline, who is he? But there's that problem. You know, you get Sir Junkin, and you always have to make that decision. You know, okay, am I going to be pushing for Sir Junkin? Am I going to be, you know, giving up a total of seven to eight, uh, you know, actual chests of my own to make him worth a damn? That is the problem with Sir Junkin. You have to put a kind of significant amount of, um, of effort into him. And it's not necessarily a bad thing, you know? He's he's a good item. And he will carry your game for you. But it is one of those things that's like, okay, you know, I can't just have Sir Junkin and allow him to run the game for me, you know, sight unseen. I do have to actually put some effort into him. There are some items that you do not have to really put an effort into, you know? Like with uh with reload stone, which will also carry the game for you. You know, for the most part, you don't have to put any effort in. You know, you are talking about really at the end of the day, all you're talking about is uh just pressing the button. Be right back. 
Sorry about that. I had something in my throat that I had to get out. Okay. Didn't want you guys hearing me hacking and coughing on the stream. Stream? No, we're not streaming today. On the recording. On the VOD. There we go. Yeah, Junkin, you gotta put some effort into, and you really gotta, you, you gotta invest in Junkin. It's a little bit like, like, Gilded Bullets, you know? You, Gilded Bullets are only good if you, do we get a key? No, we got Bouncing Bullets, though. Okay, so we're good. We have a Gun Muncher, but I don't have any use for it. We have a free, uh, Old Crest for us. I think I might actually pick up Bouncing Bullets. I mean, generally, I don't find any issues with bouncing bullets. I actually kind of like that item. But if you have an item like, um... If you have an item like, uh, like Commando... Commando gets a little bit nerfed with bouncing bullets. Mostly because it bounces, it does impact damage before the explosion. And they're actually, I, I was looking up the, um, on the, uh, on the wiki, and, uh, there apparently is actual impact damage for some of those guns that have explosions. So there actually is damage. They are actually doing damage when they hit but do not explode. Which is, you know, it's good to hear, right? Because you sit here and you're like, okay, now I have bouncing bullets. This gun is not living up to its full potential. Is it just not dealing damage, or what are we talking about? And it turns out, no, 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 it's dealing damage just fine. You know, it is doing exactly what it is supposed to be doing. Now, admittedly, the impact damage is not as high as, um... The impact damage is not as high as uh, as the explosion damage, naturally. But that's you know so that's that's something you got to think about. And I guess you could just sell bouncing bullets if your if your continued strategy would hinge on you know the explosion. That's something I didn't think about, you know. I, I, have, I haven't thought about, okay, maybe I should just get rid of an item. Because I'm not used to items massively, like, nerfing or, you know, nerfing guns. Like, you know, we all know one item can boost a gun. You know, you can have, you can have, the, not even talking about synergies, you can have the Tommy gun. Give yourself something like muscle relaxant or laser sight. Something along those lines, all of a sudden, the Tommy gun goes from this kind of inaccurate gun to a fairly accurate rifle. And, you know, the same happens when you just put it in the hands of a... in the hands of the robot, just because of his, na his natural accuracy increase. But... Okay, we'll go with the bloody bullet, apparently. I like it. Um... But yeah, so all of a sudden, it's like... It's a much more accurate gun. But what I'm not used to is the concept of, you know, a gun being nerfed by something. Which we see, we've seen with some of these things. Like, you know, Devolver Bullets, I felt, nerfed the hell out of it. I forget what I was using that day. But uh, the Devolver Bullets actually nerfed my gun. It actually made my gun, you know, not worth having. Because instead of killing people, I was devolving them. So... You know, I'm I'm doing that mental count, right? Like I'm thinking in my head, okay, how many bullets do I have to use? Uh, and I know you guys you guys have seen me do it, um, where I sit here and I just stop shooting after a certain amount of bullets on the enemy. I think I actually uh, just did it with that enemy right there. Okay, yeah, that was gonna happen. But um, I'll stop shooting, and it's like, okay, I know how many bullets this person should take. And it really screws up your count when it's like, okay, you know, um, it really screws up your count when the enemy just doesn't die. When they instead come back as this, you know, raw form of themselves, it's like, okay, well, 
apparently we're going to have a moment. I'm also trying to decide how different it is now that I've turned off high speed mode. And to be honest with you, it really isn't that different. Like, you know, I kind of expected a little bit to be like those Olympic athletes that, uh, you know, that train in Colorado uh, to begin with. And this gives them, you know, it gets their, it gets their bodies used to low oxygen. So when they go to an oxygen rich area, like just down at sea level, um, you know, they're, they're able to perform at higher levels. Uh, and for those of you who think this is not a thing, by the way, there actually is a Olympic Training Center in Colorado. I passed it uh, most days on the way to work. But um, it's in Colorado Springs, right down the street from Memorial Hospital. Um, but yeah, so this is an absolute thing. So I was kind of sit sitting there going, yeah, so I you know, I trained in the hyperbaric chamber that is, that is Sonic mode. And uh, therefore, I should be uh, more powerful than you can possibly imagine. And uh, what ends up happening is I didn't even notice the difference. Okay, we got a blue gun here. Not uh, trash cannon getting something. Trash cannon with junk, apparently. It's interesting. I wonder what it's going to be. Okay, we got no uh, no secret rooms in any of those rooms. Doesn't look like we have a secret room in here. Um, let's check the exit. Yeah, nothing in here. Um... Let's check that room. I don't know why. I just I like the idea of checking this room. Nope. Okay, let's see what the trash cannon is actually like. Okay, so it shoots a gigantic ball that then splits. I mean, it's 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 okay. I'm thinking getting rid of it with the devolver. So that's what we're gonna do. Because I'll be honest, I do not like the trash cannon. If we'd gotten bug boots, I would think a little bit differently, but I don't want to be spreading, you know, acid on the ground. And I got the Crestfaller, which is actually a gun I like, so that was good. Okay. So we've taken some damage. We could have been one red heart and two armor up where I am now. But let's uh let's see if we can do better. Could save that for later. Hopefully, get ourselves a vampire on this floor somewhere. Yeah, I'm kind of afraid of him. That guy. Just because he has this really weird shot pattern. You know, he specifically leads you. Crestfaller doing some good work on that room. We're just going to kind of stay back here in our corner. Yeah, I was going to say, that guy should be dead. Uh, let's go in this direction. Uh, any gun I specifically want to go against him with... Uh, we're going to go ahead and pop that right there. I'm uh, not a big fan of having this fight while we have the old crest up. Okay. Not a big problem. Okay. I hit it just in time. The problem is now we have absolutely no blanks for the remainder of the fight. Or the remainder of the floor. I don't know what he's doing. Oh. He's moving? No. Okay. Could have been bad. Didn't actually turn out to be.
Okay. Get a free key and, a, and the bomber. Okay, so where is the room? It's right here, which means I have to go around. I'm going to go to the shop first. We have our secret room. Okay, cool. Casey's in the shop. How much is Casey going to cost me? 42. That's an interesting thing to think about. I'm going to stick with the Crestfaller for now. I really dislike the idea that I have to, you know. Oh my god, that was so close. Where'd she go? Don't know why I think that's she, but. Oh my god, that was so close. Who had been holding my breath for that? Okay. One more room. We can do one more room. Okay, here we go. Need that gone. Need that gone. Okay. So, against all odds... We're now in here. I'm going to skip the chest for a second, just in case it's a mimic. Okay, now we're good. What you got for me? Got the shot bow. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not sure how I feel about the shot bow right now. Like, it's good. Don't get me wrong. Do we have anything else that are sitting on this floor? It's a, br it's a brown chest. Um, I think we're going to need... To buy the blank. And we're buying the blank to get me into that room with the, um... It's getting me into that room with the green chest. I'm not tremendously worried about the brown chest right now. Guess that's gonna be a free armor. Okay. Um, get rid of you. Okay. Just gonna make our way around. Oh, this is annoying. Okay. Was able to take him out before he had a chance to start moving around this room. Uh, that room could have been bad. Try again. Just go back to start and try again. Just gonna put the ammo in there. I would rather open up this chest, which contains this. Oh, I got a curse for that. I don't know. Don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about this gun. I don't know if this gun is actually good. Like, I don't know if the... If the, I mean, the, the bullets seem to home a little bit. It doesn't have to reload. How much does your key cost? Key here's 30. So I'd need to get 7 off of... I guess let's go do this room real quick. Let's see if we can actually get uh, 7... Um, 7 shells off of this room. We did not. But now we only need 3 shells off the boss to be able to get our other chest. Which, uh, which is nice. I like it. Is this my best gun for the boss? I think it might actually be. Don't know how much of a boss kill it is. Hopefully it is. Yes, it is not Amoconda. Which is really what I needed right now. I need I needed to not be facing Amoconda. Like the Medusa... I might actually be able to get, um, I might actually be able to get my master round on her with no blanks. There was, it was definitely not going to happen on, uh, on Amoconda. See, I don't know how much damage we're actually doing as compared to other guns. It feels like the damage is a little lackluster, honestly. 
So I think the fear effect is supposed to be the amazing part of this gun, but I don't... I haven't seen that actually be that good, you know? Okay. So got our master round. Get the bait launcher. Okay. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll put that into here. Okay, now I don't need to buy a key. I'm probably going to anyways. Okay, that's awesome. Loadstone amulet is amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and buy the Nod key that gives me 30 left, which sadly is not enough to get Casey. I was really hoping we were going to get enough to get Casey. I'm going to go ahead and buy that key. We've gone everywhere else. Let's just move on now. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, uh... I just don't know how I feel about this gun. I'm going to use it for now, mostly because, you know, I'm going to use it for now. So I think it's a good option. The only downside we do have, okay, so that person actually got fear. It's a good gun. I'm not really sure how I feel about the, uh, about the homing abilities, just because I have to... It doesn't let me shoot who I want to shoot is the problem. You know, I want to take out one guy, and it's like, okay, you want to take out this guy, right? It's like, no, I want to take out the other guy that's standing right there. Okay, well, we're sitting about one red heart lower than we could be. Don't think I'm particularly worried about it, though. Still haven't really figured out what the fear effect... Like, what the actual effect of the fear effect is. That, uh, that bloody 9mm. Doing some... Doing some good work there by circling around my enemy. It's really killing that enemy really damn fast. Oh, good. In my speed, I dodge rolled too early. He's got actually two keys in here. That's kind of amazing. I actually hate rooms like that. That should have been an easy room, and I just kind of psyched myself out. Okay, we actually got a shrine. Oh my god, it's pop up. Gotta imagine if I hadn't spent the money on the previous floor to get the Nod key. We would have like a hundred freaking shells to put into Pop Pop. And right now we're not doing too bad. Uh, I need a key, so if we can find a key, that's gonna be the best thing. Oh god, imagine if I. F oh my god. Imagine if I find. Um, Imagine if I find the, uh, what that would eat for breakfast? Punks like you. Um, imagine if I find the, uh, the vampire on this floor, right? If I find the vampire, man, that's gonna be, that's gonna be stuff, you know? That's gonna be, that's gonna be amazing. Um, that will be a huge amount of money I can just funnel into Pop Pop, and we can have some of the most, like, bullets ever. Right? It must be verily so. I guess if they get close to me, the fear effect happens. That seems to be what it is. It's not an effect of the actual gun. It's an effect of the, um... It's, a, it's not an effect of the bullet. It's an effect of the, of the proximity to me. So yeah, if I get too close to him, he starts backing away. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Okay. I was kind of thinking that was the case, but I hadn't had a chance to actually test it.
amazed that that many bullets didn't do it. Because that, that was a lot of bullets I pumped into you, buddy. I kind of want the priests down. Wait, can we focus on the priests, please? Thank you. Fair amount of money. What do we have in here? We have a blue chest. Okay. Let's go this way. We have a blue chest in there. Um, hopefully, we're going to get something a little bit better in one of these chests. Okay, I'm actually starting to run out of ammo on this gun. As amazing as that is. Because it has, it has a lot of ammo, and it does not shoot particularly quickly. I guess for certain enemies, the fear effect is, uh, is very useful. Back them into pits and like. The problem is they do still keep shooting, like you just saw. So I think there's a certain limit to how useful that ability actually is. Okay, what do we get in here? We got a green chest. Gonna go ahead and open that up. That's gonna be homing bullets. Man, we have been seeing this item a lot lately. Guess we'll refill. Um, question is, how much do, do I want that blue chest versus how much do I want pop pop? I'm thinking the correct choice is to go pop pop, pump two into it. And then, uh, you know, and then we, we kind of see what happens after that. Now, is there any gun better at killing the uh, killing the boss? I don't think so. I think the, the Stone Dome is probably the best boss-killing gun I have right now. I haven't seen Stone Dome pop pop off yet, but rest assured, when it happens, it'll be glorious. Okay. Is there any other gun that'd be better? Like Shot Bow, maybe? I think. Okay, let's try Shot Bow. Yeah, I'm thinking this might actually be the better choice when it comes to uh, when it comes to popping him. Take damage, it's fine. As long as I don't take damage to that red circle or those red bolts there. Yeah, different gun. I'm not feeling it. I was I tried to pop a uh, you know, a um shot that I don't freaking have. Tried to oh, sorry, try pop a uh, a blank that I don't currently have. Okay, we're doing okay. Let's let that hit the wall there. That was uh, was bad. Absolutely massive damage there. Just hit the wall, please. Just hit the wall, please. Need more damage. Problem is, I don't feel like I have a ton of damage right now. Strats? Okay. Oh, my God. Come on. Fall over, you pain in the ass. One more? Yeah. Okay. We got him. It was close, but we got him. We get the AWP. I think maybe the Stone Dome might have been the better choice in that fight. Okay. Get 
the only one I found? No, I found some other ones. Okay, uh, I guess we're gonna go destroy the blue chest. Cool. Back up to full health. Okay. So I went and looked at... <coughs> I went and looked at the video where we found the... Um, the thing. The, uh... The passage. And I think... It was in the room with the rats. So I want to go mess around in there. So here's the rat room. Okay, we have a rat. We have two rats. Hey, look at that. It's there. Need a key. Okay. So it looks like all three rats have to be alive, maybe? Let's go find ourselves a key. if Pop Pop works in the op. I mean, I'm not having to work on, worry about it too much, so we need, like, four keys on this floor. Oh, hello. Okay, we what we really need now... We have no keys, so we're gonna have to wait. What we really need now... is, uh... the ability to steal. So we're on the lookout for keys. That's a boss. I'm not quite ready for that yet. Okay, so apparently I was wrong. You don't have to, uh... It doesn't have to steal from you to, uh... To get the... To get the trap door. And we know it has nothing to do with, um... You know it has nothing to do with going down to the Abbey, because we went down to the Abbey uh, a run or two ago, and didn't uh, didn't get a trapdoor. That's a key. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to this key, because I have a feeling that this is a secret level. Or an alternate boss or something. The feeling if we go ahead and we go down that trap door and find whatever it is we're supposed to find, that uh, we're, we're not going to be able to come back. So I want to clear the floor first. Okay. I'm excited, though. I'm excited. It looks like we have the majority of the stuff we need to make this happen, whatever this is. Well, that's not what I wanted to happen. Okay, hopefully the game is gonna give me the ability to get keys, I guess. Because we need some keys. Ow. Oh my god, we need keys. Like, this is this is borderline unfair. I only have one key and I have three places to use it. Why couldn't we have flint? Um, okay. My shots completely dodged this dude.
key, please. And that is the floor. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to pull out the Stone Dome. We're going to fight. Okay, Cannon Balrog. Okay. No, I think I'm going to do... Yeah, we're, we're just going to get hit. Just the reason why is... We didn't find anything in the um, in the gap last time in the in the in the in that room. So what I'm thinking is there's a thing you have to do there that we were unable to do last time. And I think if I remember correctly, one of the things that I didn't have at all when I went down there last time was a um, I didn't have uh, blanks. So I'm wondering if you have to blank down there. I can't remember if we actually had the key either. Yeah, we are getting plenty of pop-pop shots too, so this guy's going down slowly but surely. The problem is it is a slowly thing. He is taking his sweet time dying. the alien engine, uh, that's probably just going to get turned into something else. Okay, so the question is, what do I want? So, we could do Clown Mask for 91, which just give me a follower. Metal Jacket for 91 is probably the better choice, I'm thinking. So, we're going to do that. Um, what I'm also thinking is maybe... Secret room? I don't know. Let's let's go down. Let's go down here and see if we can figure out what to do. This is my only key, so I I kind of have to do this. Okay, I remember there being a ladder to get us back up. Okay, there's the ladder. Okay, so the question is, I guess I'll just use the alien engine. We're just gonna see if there's a thing down here. Is there a door? Let's see, the wall ends. Is there, is there a thing here? Oh. Didn't I check that wall? There's another wall. And there's a padlock. Okay. So that answers that question. So now we know. So now we know. I guess we're gonna go destroy some. Uh... You know what? Let's use this here. I had a check. Okay, let's destroy us some chests. I'm unhappy. I was hoping we would be seeing something down here. But hey, now uh, now we know. Now we know how. At least we know what to do down down in the in, in the cellar. Yet we don't know how to actually guarantee this. Okay, so apparently I gotta just walk. I was thinking it would be like this. I was thinking that we would, you know, have to walk all the way. Okay. So that's crazy. You have to have two blanks just to come down here. Okay, down we go. Oh, hey, look, the rat's actually on the six shooter now, on the cylinder. That's interesting. Chamber question mark, chamber question mark, weird egg unlocked. So I see a rat. Do we have. There's no map. A rat dangling cheese. 
This is saying go down. I don't know if I trust it. But okay. What the hell is this nonsense? Yeah, I was gonna say, are there no enemies down here? And in fact, the, this is not a particularly easy enemy fight. Yeah, so we don't get a map. We just have to kind of work our way through the room. Work our way through the floor, I guess, is more accurate. There are two of these. Okay. I guess I'm just going to keep going to the right. Well, that appears to be an exit. That says four. Can't go that way. I can't go that way. I can't go that way. Do I, do I lose? What the hell just happened? So I fight two rooms. I feel as if that was a maze and I failed. I'm getting... Like, I'm getting impressions of, you know those mazes in games where there's a secret way to figure out which way you're supposed to go, and I feel like I failed it. Well, okay, so, I mean, I guess the good news is we know a little bit more than we did previously about what to do. Um, now we know why we don't have a map down there. Because the game's trying to screw with us. Or maybe the resourceful rats try to screw with us. It's a better, more accurate way to say that sentence. But, um... You know, okay. Well, on the plus side, we, uh, you know... We know more. I guess that's, that's, that's the end-all all right now, I guess. Now I know more about how to, uh... How to deal with being down there, what to do. Where'd you go? It does kind of suck that, um... In order to get where I was... And, uh, you know, essentially, you know, got nothing. Like, let, let's let's be honest. We got a little bit of money from that floor, and that was about it. So, I think it kind of sucks that I gave up two green chests for, you know, the result that we got. I think I would have liked to have gotten, you know, a little bit more out of it, but... I kind of want the compressed air tank, but at the same time... Not really much that he has that I want. Yeah, can you can you not shoot scythe shots at me? Really appreciate it. So what I'm thinking is for our next attempt, I think we should really think about using either the hunter or the pilot. And the reason why is just so because you know they have a tendency to have um, more keys than others due to their like increased drop rates or the ability to just kind of you know open locks. So we could go with a strategy that would allow us to have more keys. So we'd have more getting into those rooms. I think that's that's kind of where I think we need to be uh, we need to be looking. As I said, though, kind of sucks that we didn't get more than we actually got. 
I did see a post on the Enter the Gungeon uh, Steam forums. It's like, why does your, uh, why does sliding across the table break it? What is your butt made of sandpaper? It's a good question. I really do want to know, like, is your butt made of sandpaper? Okay, can we get some keys? Just like a re with a red chest, kind of, kind of looking me in the face there. Ow! That was kind of silly. I should have taken that damage. Hello, friend. Okay, shop should be in this direction. And that is the big problem with uh, homing bullets. Trying to shoot at that guy, and the homing bullet's like, oh you, oh, you mean this guy? This one, over here. It's like, no, homing bullets, no. That's not where I want you to shoot. So now we get... So now we get Crisis Stone. Reload. Time Crisis. Reload, reload. Okay. Reload. 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 Oh, that is awesome! So when I'm forced to reload, this gun gives me a shield. So we got a green chest and a blue chest, and I can't open either one. Okay, so... I mean, using that... Okay, do we have anything with, like... Like multi shot, but that doesn't seem to be that doesn't seem to be a point to that. Technically, that doesn't count as damage for master round status. I think we're gonna be going with the blooper for this one. Just that it does more damage. Okay, so it does block shots completely. That was interesting. We saw a bunch of bloody uh, bullets come out of that. I don't know. I actually like that reload ability. I can kind of see why that's considered to be good. This person's gonna become Caliber. Okay. Okay. What we want is keys. Can I get key drops, please? I got a key. We did get one. We also got Frosty Bullets, which is going to work with Ice. It? What? Get a bonus with the heroin. Awesome. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up this green chest. Oh my god. I should have checked it first. Get wrecked, buddy. I could have had that and the blue chest. I just I didn't check it first. Okay, so we have only seven shells left, so probably not going to be doing much. Um, I think we're going to be sticking with the blooper for a bit. 
We have we have a lot of good room clear. We don't have a lot of good boss clear. So I think we really need to be seeing like a uh We need to be seeing ourselves a um What's the word I'm looking for here? A gun or a uh, gun muncher. See if we can turn in some of these guns. I think we're probably going to be leaving the blooper behind us. Because it's just not holding up its end of the bargain, you know? I mean, the heroine's doing what it promised to do. It is wrecking face and freezing dudes. I can't save that for later, unfortunately. I mean, I can. Just, I can't. Can't put it to the shop. Oh my god, I love watching Pop Pop work. Like, watching Pop Pop work and watching, like, eight or whatever it is, beams just go flying at a dude. So good. Reload. See, I don't think when I uh, when I think time crisis, I don't think reload, reload. I think um, I think time crisis four nowadays because I've played that a lot, and uh, one of the lines is just hold down the trigger and keep firing, and that's what I hear in my head when I think time crisis. I mean, I absolutely know what this game is referring to. I know the uh, I know what it's talking about, but uh. Yeah, that's, that's not what I hear in my head is the thing. Fortunately, on the heroin, it's not that good of an effect because the heroin has this extremely fast reload animation. The heroin doesn't get much out of it, but guns that have extremely long reloads could be good. I wonder if there's other specialty ammos that the uh, heroin gets access to. I know we've seen the leaf one for the Mega Blaster. still alive. See, I know it's the leaf one, but, you know, Samus doesn't get a leaf blaster, so don't think she's going to be taking advantage of that. Yeah, can we, uh, can we do less of that? Hello, green chest. Hello, Polaris. Polaris is a great weapon, and I'm super excited to see it. You stop. Okay. Yeah, Polaris is a fantastic weapon, so I'm, I'm very excited to see Polaris as a weapon here. I'm less excited about the fact that I just got rid of my last blank. But you never know. We might uh might get some blanks somewhere. Might, might find a source of infinite blanks. Can you hear me, Elder uh Elder Blank, I'm calling your name. I 
on the plus side, the bag's dead. I always try to think of things on plus sides. I know that is actually a thing I say a lot, and I've, start, I've slowly started to become, like, aware of it. You know, just saying that phrase a lot on the plus side. But it is. It's, it's a thing that I try to do. It's, like, a, kind of an active... Like, you can tell, you know... You can tell by the way I walk. Like, it, it, it's that thing, sort of thing. You can tell how I try to think, you know, by hearing those words. I try to think on the plus side. I know you guys hear me say it an absolute ton, so it's just kind of one of those things that I'm... I'm aware of it. I'm aware of it. Not that I'm probably going to stop anytime soon. Man, this has been a long episode. I think any episode that tries to go down to that room is going to end up being extraordinarily long. We do have a key. What do we got in here? And we have the Elder Blank, but I don't think there's any way I'm going to be able to afford that. Let's go. Let's go see what what uh what color chest we have here. So we do have a green chest. Um, hmm. I guess we're gonna go with like the Crestfaller and Stone Dome are gonna be my weapons here. Thinking even though the Stone Dome doesn't do an incredible amount of damage, I think the fact that it can just keep on firing while I'm dodging may be its biggest benefit. Okay, we took damage. That happened. Like that, I think that's the just the biggest benefit this gun gets is that it just never stops. Kill that thing, please. No, I okay. I'm not actually aiming over there. I'm aiming over here. Now, what I don't know is if the Nike Spoonie over there will ever stop. Will ever go away. Oh, uh, God, I, I went so far without taking damage there. Okay, I'm thinking this gun is not going to be... Not going to be what we want. Um, so I'm noticing that, like, we've been ho hosing at this guy for a good long while. And uh, he is just not going anywhere. Okay, there we go. Not that this gun's doing me either. Like I told you guys, like we uh we are not talking about guns here that do an incredible amount of boss killing damage. in a little bit of trouble with my mouse. My mouse does not want to give me the fine-tuning aiming. You guys might be seeing that kind of weird drift that's going on. Even though I'm trying to hold at just like one spot, my mouse is like, nah, bro. I don't do that. I finally er learned the strategy for that. Okay, I'm thinking like the op may be the strategy in question here. Just me or the op look a little bit different. Did we get a synergy with the op and I missed it? I, I want to see this. Is there a synergy with the op and I just missed it? Weird egg is running the shootout. Cool. No, it's just... For some reason, it has this weird look to it. I don't know. I mean, it looks like a gun from Borderlands right now. I'm not going to lie to you.
Okay. We got the dragon. It was awesome. Things were done. Don't think we're going to be beating the, uh... Beating the Underdark here. Okay, so there's no way I can get the Elder Blank. So I think what we should do is we should probably... Just buy a key. Open this up. I mean, the Ice Cube would be awesome if we had any, like... Items that ma that cared about it, but we specifically don't. So she has she has a blank. How much is that blank? Thirty-two. So I'm just trying to see if there's a uh, secret room around here somewhere. This might be the gun we might want to think about doing downstairs. Would I take damage to? I guess it's another key. Like, there's really not much. There's not really much else that I can do here. So I'll take the key, and then we'll go downstairs. Uh, you know, we. Let's 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 be honest with each other. <clears throat> Let's get rid of the flowery and fanciful language. We're fucked. This is not going to end well. This is not going to be a run that I think we're destined to win. But hey, should be fine. It'll be right. It'll be okay. I think we got this. You think we got this? I think we got this. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Let's let's do this crap. You know, sometimes it's fun to, you know, go with something like, excuse you, I had a shield up, thank you. Oh, this is this is bad. But sometimes it's, like, incredibly fun to, you know... Man, we're fucked. Okay, let's skip using, you know, high-level curse words for a while now. Gonna fall down, please? Okay, so we got some health. What we're looking for now is ammo. I mean, we do have a small amount of curse, so... I don't think it's impossible that we will find uh, the ammo that we need. It's not happening right now. I really want to kill this guy right here. Can we make that happen? Thank you. I love that these guys create fire when they die, but apparently they themselves are not immune to fire. And we have no damage ups whatsoever. Like this is this is not going to be a very pleasant uh, bullet hell. I'm thinking. We's going to be down here for a while, boys, girls, other various people. Oh god, okay. It's okay, I got a D&D &D game in an hour, but, you know, I'm reasonably confident that we're either going to be dead or complete in an hour. One of the two. I don't know which one it's going to be. Actually, I'm reasonably confident I know which one's going to be. That's a room I liked. I liked that room. Can we have more of that room? Ah. 
Yeah, I don't want your bouncy bullets. This is why I think the Crestfaller is a good gun. You just lock people down. I don't know if people are arguing about the Crestfaller being a good gun, but I want it on the record. The Crestfaller is a good gun. Why are you not dead? Come on. Why are you not dead? I was going to say. That should be dead. That guy should be dead. Man, I'm just hitting you around corners, aren't I? Using them elite hacks. You want to fall over, please? Thank you. Nope, that one. That one. Up there. This jerk. Okay, I think he's dead. Yep. Okay, you two. Come on. Grow into your final forms. First you. And you were taking so long to get stuff done. Okay. Running out of ammo, but my sincere hope is that by the time we reach a point where we need ammo, we're going to actually get an ammo drop. Like, I have a very small amount of curse. Come on. Oh, that's a wall. Pretty sure both of them are dead. Reasonably sure he's dead, too. Yep. He is dead, Jim. These guys do their thing here. Hit that guy, pop him. Hit that guy, pop him. Do not aim at me, you jerks. Hey, the guy I actually care about is dead. That's exciting. Okay, we got ammo. That's going to go straight into the AWP. That's going to spill over to other guns. I love it when the enemy that I don't want to deal with just dies really fast. That just that's good feeling right there. Let's go uh this way. I'm feeling this way. Well, all of our blanks are gone. But on the plus side, we have ammo in the op. <laughs> we we're we're not dead yet. Dance and we can sing. We can do the Highland Fling. We are not quite dead yet. I found a secret room. Uh, that actually hurt a fair bit. Okay, the question is, what gun does that go into? The op's only going to be useful for a very short period of time. I think we pop that into the Stone Dome. This is going to be an evil muncher. Uh, I don't know how much we're going to have to pop into it, but I don't mind throwing a bunch of guns into it. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Just throw some stuff in here that I'm probably not going to use anymore for the remainder of the run. Um, let's see. Do I? I'm probably. Okay, look, this is what we're going to do. Let's get to the boss and then get rid of the not. Never mind. Okay, so the question is what guns am I not going to use against the boss? I'm not going to use the Polaris because I don't have 
uh, any... Uh, it's not leveled up. I can't do the Marine Sidearm, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to use the Blooper. Um, I'm not going to use the Crestfaller, mostly because it's out of ammo. I'm not going to use the Shot Bow because it's out of ammo. It's still Ravenous, wow. Am I going to use the Heroin? I'm not going to use the Op. Anything else? Oh, it's still Ravenous. Okay, so we, we, we can't go any further than that. I basically have no guns other than that. It just didn't want to... It just wasn't done. Okay, so we're going to use the Flame Hand as our main weapon. As I said, we never had much in the way of boss-killing items in the first place. That was irritating. I was so sure I was going to dodge that crap. So, sad nonsense right now. We just do not have... Um, we just don't have boss killing weapons. And as I said earlier, that's not a new thing. We just we haven't had boss killing weapons basically the entire game. I've been using non-boss killing weapons to kill bosses. not get up close and personal with me. Oh my god, we actually have to reload this gun. Not that this gun actually has a reload animation. Okay. Four hits left. I think it's I think this is a doable thing. I think it's gonna be annoying. I think we're going to switch now to the Stone Dome. I think it's doable. I don't think we're actually going to do it because I don't think I'm good enough to do it because I'm just not good at dodging some of the attacks, especially the attacks on, on, this, on this phase. This phase has a lot of the attacks that I get concerned about. Like the one that usually follows that attack. This one. Yeah, like that was the, actually that was the one attack that I get truly worried about. Yep. That's the attack I have, I have issues with. But hey, we got the Lich. We did some stuff. It was exciting. Mm, big stretch. I don't think the Stonehead's all that good, I'll be honest with you. I'll see you guys later.